Hi Libra, welcome to Terribly Accurate. This is your love reading for January 19th through February 19th, and this is for anyone who's a Libra sun, moon, or rising, or maybe you are interested in a Libra, so you're wondering what's going on in their love life because you're nosy. That's okay. Um, so in general readings, take the pieces of um, information that kind of click for you right away or Pique your interest because those are going to be the ones that are relevant and will resonate for you. Sometimes when these videos come out, um, things don't make sense right away, but then if you watch them as the month progresses a second time, all of a sudden it clicks. Um, but the way to get a most accurate reading is to get a personal or private reading and contact information is below for that. So we'll get started. I'm going to start with um, singles and then I'm going to move on to couples and then we'll finish off with... Um, information for those of you who are in between. So if you are in between, you'll want to listen to both the singles and the couples, and um, then there will be some extra insight at the end for you. So this is if you're like in a on and off again relationship, or if maybe your relationship isn't hasn't been declared exclusive or official. Okay, so for singles, this one jumps out as a challenge right away. It's the Prince of Chariots of the Winds. Okay, so this would be um, also correlating like as the um, King of Swords, okay? Now, what that's saying is it's very challenging for you right now as you're single to really, with your communication, feel assured in what you're saying to maybe the people you're meeting, um, what it is that you want, getting your thoughts on track. You might be sending mixed signals to the universe saying, you know what? I don't want to be in a relationship with someone. I want something casual. But then as soon as you're in a casual relationship with someone, you go, you know what? Um, I kind of really like this person, and now I want a relationship. So this is your challenge right now this month is to s discern what is it that you actually want right now. Do you want to be single? Do you want to be coupled? Um, what kind of traits are you looking for in a partner? What kind of Traits are important to you so that you can also uh, be a mirror of that, okay? What else for single Libras? The death card in reverse. So you don't need to change your method right now. Whatever you're doing um, is working for you, and if it doesn't feel like it's working for you, it's just that there's a lesson to be learned from it at this point in time. Also, um, maybe feeling like your emotions aren't totally in balance this month. Things are up and down. I feel like maybe Virgo had something similar where your emotions can be a little bit here and there. So how do you fix it? Two things. Um, being honest and communicative with other people, expressing how you're feeling, and um, being real with yourself also when we have the Ten of Cups with the Ace of Swords, about what it is that truly brings you joy and happiness. Like, what is your forever, like your happily ever after look like? Okay, because if there are things um, when the people you're meeting that immediately you're like, well, you know what, maybe I could compromise on that. Maybe this could be a good relationship if I could just get over this thing. It's like, you know what, be real with yourself and with the other person and let them know what those deal breakers are. Um... It's not to say that you shouldn't compromise in relationships, but you shouldn't compromise on things that are actually deeply important. So, for example, if it's important to you that somebody um, it lives a healthy lifestyle and then they eat junk food all day and they smoke, um, you could say, you know what, but I really like them, so maybe I could deal with that. But if that's like core to who you are, if that's how you live your life, it's probably something that's going to bug you later that you're going to regret. And so that's the point here is just to be honest about it, not asking them to change, but just letting them know um, this is what actually what I'm looking for and see how that goes. Um, it, it's not a time as I said before, to kind of change your method, what you're doing. So if you're going on Tinder dates, um, keep doing that. You don't have to join a club or, um, you know, start hanging out at nightclubs looking for someone. Or conversely, maybe that's what you're doing. Maybe you're going out to a lot of happy hours or, um, you know, being set up on dates with your friends. Whatever your method is, it's not a good month to change it. Well, why is that? 
because um, you're just getting used to the flow of things and how you've been doing that, and it's about to pay off for you. Um, to change your method now would make you feel less confident as you start to meet people, and they will sense that in you, and you will therefore seem less attractive to them, if that makes sense. Oh, two more things. Um, you don't have to make any decisions right now. Now is a time for thought, like anything that is um, final, but then at the same time, um, it's as though you're with, with that temperance card we had earlier where there's some emotional imbalance and it's like seeking peace coming from a place where things are maybe a little bit crazy. Um, they're like that. Well, everything's just going to like kind of smooth out on its own. You don't need to be um, actively pursuing any changes right now. And it, then there's a message here about big, a number message about big changes occurring, um, but that God, Allah, Spirit guides the angels, they've got your back through this and that everything is for your highest good, even if you can't see it right now. So if you're struggling, um, take some solace in that. Now, for those of you who are Libras and you're coupled, I've got the world card in reverse. So whatever is going on in your relationship um, has not, is not going to come to the end of that cycle during this time period. So maybe later in February or into March, who knows when, but whatever lessons you guys are learning right now, whatever struggles you're going through at this point in time is just not quite over yet. Now, you're advised to look at the past and um, still be very fair and Libra-like, you know, assuming the best and um, you know, that maybe you're framing things wrong, giving people other chances, but not being a fool, okay? So look at the past and learn from it and then call people on their bullshit. Now, it doesn't say, like, go out and be a bitch, okay? But it's also don't be taken advantage of. So if your partner is um, lying to you, if something just doesn't feel right, go ahead and call them out on that this month. So what happens if you don't? Well, if you don't call them out on this, um, then things are not going to change. They're not going to change at all, actually. And you might never, um, they might never say, hey, I'm sorry, or own up to the things that they are doing. Um, and it's what it's saying here is that, you know, if you're in this kind of a situation, that foolish optimism isn't necessarily the best stance to take. Now, I'm not going to say that, you know, this is a general reading and that's that's the thing, is that not everybody's in a shit relationship. But for those of you who are, who are um, worried about something, you're suspecting maybe some foul play, some infidelity, uh, it's time to call them out, okay? Um, because that's not going to change and they need to know that you know, okay? Now, that's for a fraction of you, maybe 20%, but... And um, I know 20% is still a high number, but that's what I'm getting here. Now, for those of you um, in that 20% and you do call them out on it, what's going to happen? Well, you might not be excited about moving forward with them is what I'm getting there. Um, and then, you know, it's also, let me get a card to go with that challenge of the five of wands. Um, okay. So some of you may then also feel as though um, it's not that you're not listening to your gut instincts, to your intuition, and all of those things um, if you fail to make a decision as to what to do. And I think that's because it requires compromise. Um, things might not change either way, at least not initially, but at least you're not the fool. It just says whatever kind of issues you're going through um, at this point in time with your partner, they are not going to likely come to like full circle, full um, fruition or, or be entirely resolved between January 19th and February 19th. So what else for the rest of you Libra couples? Because that wasn't for everyone. Um, you might not... There, I'm sensing, sensing some insecurity in your coupled relationships and um, some definite pain. Now, it might not have been something as serious or scary as infidelity. Maybe it was some harsh words. Maybe it was that a decision was made um, in which you weren't consulted. I'm getting that, like a large purchase 
or something along those lines. Maybe somebody um, disrespected your mother or your sibling. Um, and what it says here, though, is definitely defend your position. However you're feeling, whatever you're thinking, you take that defensive stance. Stand up for yourself this month with your partner. Um, now, it may make you feel like crap. I am definitely getting some things here where it's like maybe your partner is saying some things that are cutting or abusive, but you need to defend yourself. Okay, so maybe perhaps you're with someone and they're saying, you know, like, I work like double the hours you do. I don't know why the house is so messy when I get home. Defend yourself. Because the things that you're doing with your time are valuable too. Okay? Um, now, it's saying, like, you might be looking at, um, some of you might be looking at the past, the history with your partner, and kind of feeling sad and depleted. Maybe this is a pattern that has been going on for too long within your relationship. Um, but you have to remember that a partnership is two people, okay? And I feel as though, now I feel really bad that this relationship it, or this reading is coming out a little bit negative, um, but we have to talk about the bad things in our relationship. Those who need this information will hopefully find the video. Um, and those of you who are in a positive relationship, great. Then this isn't for you. But um, some of you are in relationships with people, male or female, doesn't matter. Uh, even though it's a male card in tarot, uh, gender isn't necessarily um, specific. But you're in a relationship with somebody who wants to dominate you, who wants to control you, who um, is probably very insecure on the inside. Although on the outside, they act very secure, almost narcissistic, um, self-centered kind of a thing. But that's their way of building up their own sense of security and self-esteem is by displaying dominance over you. And you need to not allow them to control you or cut you down to make themselves feel better. That's bullying and it's not okay. Some of you are in relationships like that. So what this is saying here with the King of Swords, that's who you need to be. You need to be true to yourself. You need to be honest with yourself about what it is that you have to give. And um, really, you know how we started with that Queen of Swords? Really just um, take it even one step further and display your own value and worth and make sure that nobody takes advantage because you're very good natured, you know, so, so it's not to say that you're easily abused, but um, almost sometimes you might be too passive and forgiving is maybe the issue. You've let things go on for too long and now it's time to take a stand because emotionally it's screwing with you. Even if you try to push it to the side and forget, oh, typical, that's how they are. Like, I'm just going to keep being me and, and showing love and compassion and understanding that, you know, maybe my partner's going through a tough time. They're just not coping well. They don't have the coping skills. At this point, it's time to call them out and put a stop to it is basically the challenge for this month. Because, um, some of you are in relationships with people who aren't your soulmate anyway, okay? But for those of you who are in relationships with a person you are destined to be with forever, this is really starting to hurt your relationship. It's starting to tear it apart. And um, maybe there's a fear of saying, you know, hey, this isn't okay because you could lose them. But until you do, I mean things can't get better, right? It's just going to be a huge elephant in the room. So it's saying, you know, be cautious not to be a bitch, <laughs> but um, talk about things, you know, based on past history and ask them to find some compassion or empathy as to where you stand and why you feel that way. You have to be like a shining example. But they're saying like that the, the reminder here is, although it kind of sucks, um, but the angels want you really very much to know that whatever kind of drama is going on within your relationship, within your coupled relationship, that it's probably going to take some time. It might not be like fixed and 100% by the time we get to February 19th. Um, for those of you, so it's just like be patient, keep working, okay? So for those of you who um, are in happy coupled relationships though, I just, I don't think... To be honest, with that next card, the star in reverse, I don't feel like a lot of you um, watching this video are in 
happy coupled relationships. For those of you who are, I apologize that this video doesn't really cater to you, but it's, so I read intuitively, like I get messages from the angels and then I pass them on and they really just feel like it's super important to speak to those in pain. That's the whole point of me doing these videos anyway, right, is to um, give you some guidance as to the best path to take on your situation so that you can find your own happiness. So, so this is the issue that they want to talk about right now. For those of you who are in in-between kind of relationships, on-again, off-again relationships, or maybe they're not exclusive relationships, what do we have? Um, you might not be happy about that at this point in time. What else do we have here? Um, but they're saying, don't walk away yet. It's not time to give an ultimatum, to say, you know what, like, I don't know how I feel about this. I think I'm just going to move on. It's not time for that. Um, because you haven't invested enough time and love and energy into it yet um, to see the benefits. So it's slow moving. It's very similar to Virgo. If you're in um, a relationship with a Virgo, then maybe this would extra resonate or maybe you have Virgo in your chart. Um, it's saying if you are capable of waiting, that you will see that it will pay off for you, okay? There will be a lot of emotional fulfillment. You'll be pretty happy. Um, also, there's an element here of selfishness and needing to decide, like, whether your um, maybe inclination to walk away because of impatience is selfish or smart, and you ought to be smart in this situation. Um, there's all of these things about like not being cutting with your words, which isn't a very typical Libra trait, but maybe some of you are just so fed up, you can't take it anymore. Um, some of you like being in a relationship that's on again, off again, or isn't necessarily official, it's more casual, kind of um, depletes your sense of security, how you're feeling about the relationship and maybe even about yourself. So that would be a challenge there. Um, but for those of you who are just not feeling like an overflow of love and emotion, you're meeting people, but you're not really feeling them. Um, what it's saying here is just give it time. And because sometimes the best love relationships aren't love at first sight. So I'm going to give everybody here a piece of parting wisdom from this animal deck, and then I will see you soon. We've got the chimpanzee. And it says, use both your intuition and your intellect to solve problems and get answers to your questions. Such a Libra thing, right? When you think about the scales, one is emotions and one is intellect. Now, oftentimes, Libras have a tendency to go a little bit more with intellect than emotions and then other times, but try to keep those in balance. Okay, love and light.